Now we're going to turn editing on and we're going to be add an activity drop down and this time we'll pick choice. And choice has some interesting options. It's, it's not a graded activity like most of the others, but it's a good way to get a sense of what's going on with the class on a particular topic. So lighthearted thing would be, you know, what day would you like the ice cream social to take place on? Um, we're, we're planning a big party. And are you available? But you could also use this for things like um, if you have a combined shell, what section are you in? Or what days would you like the tutor to be in the lab? Or, you know, what's your favorite color in a statistics class? Or even I set up one for carpooling. So one person has a minivan, so it can take seven people. And another person has a convertible, so they can bring themselves in one passenger. So I'll show you how that would apply in a minute. So you can limit the number of responses allowed. So for example, if you had um, X number of tickets, you had 100 students and only 20 tickets, you could chain, you could, you could enable that. And uh, you could actually say that, um, and so my example of the cars is we could say we have five cars with this many seats. And so car one would have two seats and car five, car two would have seven seats and car three would be a bus. And you could limit the number on each of these, so it'd be kind of first come, first serve. Normally you don't do those, but there are times when you'd want them. So I'm going to disable that. And we come down. And you can have, essentially, infinite choices. I don't know that you'd want a lot more, but it depends on the circumstances. So we could add more fields if you wanted them. And then we could restrict answering the time period. And obviously in the case of a, of a carpool planning or a concert, you would want to cut it off by the time you needed your... your uh, your numbers. So in this case, I'm not worried about that. It's something I would want them to do, you know, any time in the course. Um, and then we have miscellaneous say settings. How do we want this to display horizontally or vertically? Um, I actually like horizontally, but you should look at both of them. I would say do one of each and see how it looks with your class. It may depend on how many students you have. <coughs> And then do you want to publish the results? Sometimes you want an anonymous survey, so you don't want people to pressure each other. Um, and but you can always see it or you can have them see it anonymously until they click a choice or um, they can only see it after the date has ended so there's lots of different ways to do polling and always show results so I like always show results in this case we're trying to figure out when the party is and if you already have a bunch of people saying Saturday maybe you want everyone else to know oh look they picked Saturday I'll go for Saturday and that's completely dependent on the particular activity and then um, you have the other option of to show the student names and their choices and, or to publish them anonymously. So one is, do you see the results? The other one is, do you see them as people or do you see them anonymously? Okay. And then I like, depending on what it is, if there's something maybe I need for attendance, I'll say show column for unanswered. I want to see who didn't answer this question because it's a kind of participation. If you have a big class of 300 people, that can be kind of tedious. You only really care about the results, not the people who didn't choose it. Again, depending com depends completely on the activity. And then we have our standard settings down here, whether or not it's visible. So I'll save and display this. Oh, you know, the problem here is I've now got a choice, but I haven't actually picked any choices. So let's put um, Friday, Friday night. And obviously, I'd probably want a real date. Saturday day. Saturday night. Uh, Sunday afternoon. I don't want Sunday morning. Some people have church. Let's not do Saturday night. We'll do Saturday afternoon. Um, mid morning. You know, and these are again depending on the activity. So now we'll we'll go down and click uh, save and display. And in this case, there are two people in this class. This is a sample class, of course. Normally, this would be a larger number. And this is how it's going to look. We're planning a big party when you're available. So I'll, I'll click Saturday mid-morning, save my choice. So we've got anonymous results. So it shows that half the class wants Saturday mid-morning. Now we could turn around and change that. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, well, I don't want to record the name of this person, but I could make it unanonymous. And you would see my name here and the other person's name there. 
So choices are particularly useful. You just want to get a feel of the class. You could actually do a lot of them and almost use them as sort of in-class clickers, but you have to create one question per. And if you want to go further, you, you actually could do a questionnaire instead of a choice. But choices are good for quick things. I usually put about three or four of them in my class. And sometimes it's just to gauge how they feel about the progress. For example, are you overwhelmed or doing fine or doing really well?